Hey guys, thank you for watching my first ever video on YouTube. I hope you enjoy it, or at least that you find it informative. Um, before we start, you'll notice, I apologise, I'm missing a tooth. Um, I'm a cyclist, I live in London, these things kind of happen. Um, that aside, today I'm going to be giving you a hands-on first look at my new Huawei 5G CPE Pro. Um, I'll be talking about my first impressions of the build quality um, and most importantly I'll be showing you guys some of the speed test results that I've been getting um, but generally it's an impressive bit of kit. So firstly why did I make this video? Um, well like many of us I'm someone who has been working from home for a couple of months now. Uh, in my local area the broadband is really poor so we used to have a um, fibre to the cabinet uh, fiber optic connection but we were getting 10, 15, 20 meg at most um, which is okay for working from home but mostly the big issue that we had was that the connection was going down 5, 10, 15 times a day especially 9am when everyone's starting to log on um, and to be honest I just got fed up of apologising to people for dropping off calls at work all the time so this led me to look for some alternatives um, and I started looking at mobile broadband and actually I found that I'm lucky enough to live in an area of London where we have 5G coverage. Um, I know that won't apply to everybody right now, but hey, in the coming months and years, I'm, I'm sure as 5G rolls out, this may become more and more uh, useful for folks. But even if you can't get 5G right now, I still hope you find this interesting. Um, so yeah, I was covered by Vodafone's 5G network. Um, so I started to have a look online at some reviews, some uh, YouTube videos, some product demonstrations, first-hand experience, basically anything I could get my hands on relating to 5G home broadband. Um, and actually I found very little. Um, I mean obviously this is an early technology, a lot of folks like I say aren't lucky enough to be covered by 5G right now. So it kind of makes sense why there's very little out there, at least in my experience. Um, so, hey, I figured I'd take the risk, I'd invest, um, I've been using it for a few days now, I've been using 5G as my primary source of internet at home, um, and I thought it would be useful to film a video talking about some of my experiences. I picked up my Huawei 5G CPE Pro on Amazon, I paid about £365. Yes, I know that's super expensive, but you know, we're still in the early adopter territory. And I would expect as more alternatives come on the market in the next year or so, this price inevitably will drop quite substantially. Um, but right now, this is expensive. Like, let's be clear about that. So before we get hands on with the device itself, um, just to kind of uh, quickly talk you through what data plan I'm using. So I went with Voxy, spelled V-O-X-I. Uh, it's basically Vodafone's cool younger sibling. Um, I've never heard of them before, but actually I've been really impressed. So, Foxy offer a 5G plan with unlimited data, and importantly for home broadband, unlimited tethering. There's no restrictions at all. Um, and it's £35 a month on a 30-day rolling contract. So, the cost of the device aside, yes, that's super expensive. I actually think £35 for an unlimited 5G data plan isn't so bad. Um, as a side note, I will include a link in the description to the plan that I have. Uh, feel free to check it out if you're interested in 5G. Personally, I've been using it, like I say, for a few days and I've been very impressed. I would highly recommend it if you're lucky enough to be covered at the moment. So let's have a look at the device itself. Um, just a caveat, I'm a tech enthusiast, but by no means am I an expert in networking or anything like that. So I'm not going to go into all of the details when it comes to the specs. Um, I'll include a link to Huawei's product page in the description so you can check that out yourself if you'd like. Um, but my first thought when I opened the box when this arrived last week was, wow, this is quite a sizable piece of kit. Um, it's definitely not subtle, um, but hey, you know, this is early technology. These things will shrink over time, they will get smaller. And honestly, yeah, it's quite big, but, you know, it doesn't look out of place it's not ridiculous all right so hands-on with the Huawei 5G CPE Pro um, other than the size I think the first impression of this for me is that 
it feels weirdly light. I mean, for such a large, chunky unit, it mostly feels hollow, especially in the top half. Um, I don't know why that is, thermals or something else, but that was quite surprising. Um, and then besides the weight, uh, I'm quite really just disappointed with the build quality of this. Um, the plastic feels super cheap and thin. I mean, can you hear this? It's the real nasty plastic that you're thinking of, and hopefully you can identify by that sound. Um, yeah, so that's not great. It really just feels like, you know, Huawei went to very little expense with this product, and I get, you know, it was probably rushed onto the market. It's one of the first um, 5G routers out there, and, you know, quality may be compromised as a result. I, I get that. I understand that. Um, all I would say is that hopefully as time passes, as Huawei release new versions or as competitors like Netgear start bringing their products to market, quality should start to improve. Other than that, it's okay, it's fine. Um, and you know what, even if the build quality feels a little bit cheap, that's okay because as long as it's quick and it's reliable, then hopefully I shouldn't ever really need to interact with it. It should be out of sight and out of mind. So on to reliability. I mean, so far reliability has been great. We're five days in now um, since we officially switched off our copper connection. Um, we have anywhere between three and 10 devices connected to this at any one time. And we have three people working from home in the house as well. Um, and so far in five days, we haven't had a single disconnection, any issue at all. Um, it hasn't gone down. It's been very, very reliable. Um, time will tell whether this continues. Again, it's only five days. It's not a lot of data to go off. Um, but hey, so far so good. And if this thing stays as reliable as it has been, then I'll be very happy. So let's discuss the best part, the speed. Um, this is the fastest connection I've ever had um, by quite a long way. Now, I know some of you will have FTTP gigabit connections. I mean, they're no doubt faster than 5G right now, certainly faster than my 5G, um, but we can't get FTTP in my area. Um, so this is the best I have, um, and it's pretty good. So before we get into speed, placement is super important. So obviously this is mobile broadband, goes without saying that where you place this unit in the house will dictate your speeds. Um, I tried a few different locations. I think generally the advice is place it near a window, of course, and if you have a higher floor in your house, try and put it there as well. Um, I'm lucky that my office is in our loft conversion and we have a lot of windows up here, so that might explain why I'm getting pretty good speeds. Um, but it'll be on a case by case basis and if you decide to opt for 5G mobile broadband make sure you try multiple locations in your house run a speed test in each and find the one that works best anyway let's run a couple of speed tests um, just as a quick side note it's currently 3 p.m on a wednesday afternoon in central london um, obviously as with any kind of uh, broadband but particularly with mobile broadband the speed that you get is going to be dictated by the network capacity and how many people are using it at any one time. Uh, so just be aware of that. You may get different speeds in the middle of the night on a Saturday morning and during the week. All right, let's run our first speed test. So you'll notice that at first it's a little bit, I don't want to say slower, it's still very fast, but it starts out slower and then starts to creep up. Um, I don't know why that is, but it's consistent in every test that I've run for the past few days. You'll probably know why. Let me know in the description. I'd be interested to find out. So yeah, download 232 meg. That's about in line with what I've been getting recently, but I will show you in a minute um, the, the kind of historic results. And as you can see here, upload 18 meg. Yeah, not too bad. All right, second speed test. I haven't changed anything, um, this is in the same location, um, nothing's been changed. So you can see slightly faster this time, 
Um, it goes without saying that there are fluctuations, um, sometimes quite significantly, in the speeds that you get, but it's nearly always over 200 meg. And again, this time, same again with the upload, it was, I think, 18 meg last time, it's now 23, 24. So here's a history of all the tests that I've run since yesterday. Um, you can see that the lowest speed I've got is there at the bottom, 203 meg for download and 15 for upload. Um, and the fastest download speed that I've had so far was actually earlier today at 309 meg download. Um, but as you can see, consistently over 200. And again, this will largely depend on what the network capacity is like at any given time. So yeah, that's the device, um, the other speeds that I've been getting, I'm in southwest London, like I say, I'm in the loft conversion, we have a lot of windows, I don't know what kind of speeds people get um, in other environments, but my personal experience is I've been getting consistently over 200 megabytes for download, um, obviously upload is, is uh, slower, 25 meg or something like that. Now, I'm not a content creator, although I'm making this video, um, download speed is really what matters to me, so that's not really too much of a problem that you don't get those, you know, gigabit upload speeds. Um, but I appreciate for some people, you know, there's uh, pros and cons of this technology. Yeah, so overall, very happy that I made the switch to 5G broadband. Um, I certainly don't miss the uh, around 15 meg copper connection that I had previously. Um, I don't miss its lack of reliability and so far, like I say, I've been really impressed with the reliability of both Foxy's network and the um, Huawei 5G CPE Pro itself. Um, I've seen speeds yeah, around 15 times higher than what I was getting previously. Um, and again, I, personally, I, I'm very happy with that Voxy plan. Unlimited uh, 5G data, unlimited tethering, no restrictions, £35 a month on a 30-day rolling contract. Um, I think that's pretty competitive. As more and more um, network operators roll out 5G, I'm sure those prices will come down. But even at £35 a month, I think it's pretty good. So I appreciate this technology may not be available to everyone right now. Um, if it is available to you, I hope you found this review useful. I hope it makes you um, more uh, informed in terms of making your decision. And if it isn't available to you now, hopefully it will be soon. Um, and either way, I hope you found this uh, video interesting. Uh, this is pretty cool technology, right? Everyone's been talking about 5G, it's no secret. Um, but I thought it would be useful to share a real life hands-on review after using this for a few days, because like I say, I couldn't find many of them on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll check in in a few weeks time if you'd like me to do that and let you know uh, how it's uh, been performing over a longer period of time and whether it's still as fast uh, uh, or as reliable as it has been. Cheers.